So what is going on guys, Nandipers93 here with another video and last night Apple released iPadOS 14.2 to the entire public and I wanted to walk you guys through exactly what you're going to get and some of the differences that you're going to see and whether or not this new update is stable enough to recommend updating to 14.2 for you guys. So let's get this video going. So guys, I actually just upgraded my iPad Air 4 to 14.2 so I want to show you guys the build number and everything that kind of came along with it if you guys follow me on Twitter you'll see that this update was actually about four gigabytes so give yourself about eight gigabytes of storage space in order to actually give yourself enough leeway to install this update if you guys do want to install it but if you go into the about section you'll see that we're now on 18 B 92 there's no more a or no more there's no more final letter in that column because now we're on the official public release and then there's also a modem update if you guys have the cellular version of the iPad Air or an iPad Pro or any iPad for that matter. But I wanted to go through some of the updates that we've seen with iPad OS 14.2. And the first one I do want to talk about is actually involving AirPods. So the reason it's open is because I wanted them to be connected. So you can actually go into your AirPods, go into your settings, and you see a bunch of the normal stuff that we always see. But if you scroll down, there is now an optimized battery charging mode, if you guys can see that. So it's to reduce battery aging, iPad and AirPods learn from your daily charging routine so AirPods can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use them. So it basically learns and finds out when you're using your AirPods. So basically it'll know that if you're charging them at night, it's four in the morning, it'll actually hold them at 80% until right around seven or eight o'clock when I get up and then it'll get to 100% and you'll be notified on both your iPad and your iPhone when they're fully charged or when even they're 80% charged. Another cool one has to be in the control center. So if you go into the settings, cause it's not gonna be in the control center by default. So go into control center and then you, if you scroll down, there's two things that I want you to add cause we're gonna go over both of them. So the first one is gonna be the magnifier, which we'll touch on later. And then the second one is going to be music recognition by Shazam. So you see the little Shazam logo right there. And let's get out of here. So we're done. And then if I scroll onto the control center, hit that top right, you'll see the little Shazam button. So basically what that does, it's actively listening for music playing in the background, right? And there's about a 10 second timer that if it doesn't hear anything, it'll it'll stop it, but let me show it off for a second. So as you guys saw, we got a little update on the top there when Shazam was listening. It showed you that the little orange or yellowish little dot was there, which means that it was actively listening, the microphone was on. So you're aware that you're being listened to essentially, right? But that's all it's, but in a nutshell, it'll basically actively listen, find out what song you're using. And it's also obviously available on iOS 14.2, which is probably a little bit better because you'll be at places with your iPhone more so than your iPad, but I could be wrong. So if you go into the control center, this is the next thing. The now playing platter is actually a little bit different. It'll give you suggestions over here on the top. You can see that the actual volume rocker, the circle itself is a lot bigger. And then also within AirPlay, AirPlay, this function looks a little bit different too. So the actual platter, the functionality is the same, but it's just a little easier to put the volume up and down because it's easier to grab. You'll have suggestions, especially if you're on Apple Music. Um, obviously it's gonna work a little bit better than Spotify. So you'll get suggestions up here. And it's just a nice new user interface, something new to look at essentially. Another thing that I noticed that on the lock screen, the volume rocker is actually also just as big so all basically anytime you can physically move the volume rocker on the screen the circle is going to be a little bit bigger and then the next update has to do with actually this wallpaper so apple this is an apple native wallpaper which is surprising to see and then what's cool about these new wallpapers just like any of the other ones if you go into dark mode they totally change so it's a lot more there's like a purplish bluish hue to this background and if i go back to light mode you can see that it's a nice little landscape like a cartoony landscape of a beach and Apple gave us a bunch of new ones, actually, which is really, really nice. So if you go to choose wallpaper in the stills category, we scroll down, these are all new ones. You have four realistic landscape wallpapers and then four car like cartoonized or animated landscapes. And they're both compatible with light and dark mode. So if I click on one of these, when it's in light mode, it's the day sky. And then when I turn on night mode, you can see that it's the, the night sky, which is really, really cool. And with all that movement, perspective zoom, which I don't really like, but it's there. You also get over a hundred new emojis, which I'll link below. There's a bunch of new ones that are pretty cool. I'm not a big emoji guy. I stick to the same five or six or seven that I use. So, I mean, maybe I'll explain with those new emojis because there are over a hundred new ones. So the next thing I want to show you is actually in the home app itself. So Apple's been trying to compete with Alexa and Google home and all those different smart home accessory companies. And you know, they've been doing a good job, but obviously they're a little behind, right? They're not as 
universal as the other ones, but Apple is kind of changing that a little bit. So if you go into the home app, you get two new things. One that I can show you, which is this new discover tab over here on the left. So it kind of lets you discover what you should do, you know, if you want smart lights or smart security, you know, smart entry, different comfort things. So it, it, first it allows you how to get started and then it shows you what items you would need and kind of directs you on the best path to actually set up a smart home. And then the other feature, which I can't show you because I don't have an intercom is with the new home pods, there is an intercom system. And if you go into the home right here and then to the home settings, there will be an option for you to try out the intercom section, which, you know, right now I have nothing in my house that has an intercom feature, so I can't show you, but that is now live and ready to go on 14.2 guys. But that's gonna do it for pretty much all the things that I noticed. And I do wanna give a long form review after about a week, but I'll let you guys know. Let's go back to the normal view. So as you guys saw, we got a good amount of updates and upgrades and you can see some visual differences within the UI and the actual update itself. Like, like I showed you, a bunch of new emojis, some new music platters, a bunch of cool stuff just to make your experience a little bit easier and a little more user friendly. So that's what I like about Apple. They keep us interested, they keep us looking for new things within the iOS or iPadOS ecosystem and software. So I do recommend updating the 14.2. There's no real reason not to. The only thing I do want to test out is how the battery life does because with 14.1, we did get a nice little battery performance upgrade. But with 14.2, so far it's been the same. No real bump from 14.1 to 0.2, but also no real decrease in battery life. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this helped you make a decision on whether or not to update or hold off for a newer update. But let's hope maybe 14.3 or 14.4 gives us something equivalent to that curse of support we got last year with 13.4, guys. But that's going to do for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time.